there. Can anybody hear me? It's your boy Davo, and I'm coming to you with my new YouTube segment, Dishing with Davo. Here we're gonna do a little cooking, we're gonna do a little dishing, we're gonna get into all the things that I want to talk about. And right now on my mind, it's a good old reality TV. But first, what are we cooking? Well, decided to take some recipes that I find off of like Facebook or the internet uh, and see what I can do. You know, I got some skills, but sometimes I want to test it a little bit. And so today I'm going to try this chicken fajita pasta, which seems like an easy recipe, but sometimes things just don't go right when I try to imitate others on the internet. So going to give it a go. Hopefully it's a slam dunk and tastes good. Even if it doesn't, I'm going to lie to you all and say that it tastes fine because I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shh. So first up, going to get into what we have here. So for our ingredients, of course, it's a chicken fajita pasta. So we have chicken cut up into cubes already or cubish. Um, got some olive oil. Penne pasta, whole grain, because I'm trying to be healthy, just a tad. We got onion powder, garlic powder. Oh, I might need to open up the other garlic powder because this is about empty. Chili powder, ground cumin or cumin, however you decide to pronounce it. That's your business. Got nothing to do with me. Oh, black pepper, of course. We got some fajita seasoning, and oh, I love the seasoning. It's Badia, Badia, Badua, Baliga, complete seasoning. Y'all using that Lowry's and that McCormick seasoning and all, that's that salty stuff. You get you some of this all you need. As a matter of fact, when I make oodles and nerders, get you some oodles and nerders. Just use like half the pack of seasoning, not too much, not even half, baby. And then put this in there. And then add some hot sauce. Baby, baby. Got yourself a meal there. All right, and then also in our fridge there, we got some bell peppers, some orange, yellow, and red ones. The recipe says to call for green ones, but I'm on a budget right now, a little broke and this is what we got here. Some onions, things stink. And then also some pepper jack cheese. And then the recipe also, I like to switch things up. Recipe calls for five cups of milk. And I think it's supposed to be whole milk, but I, don't know. I do fat free and I'm just gonna do about three cups of milk. And then I'm gonna add some whipping cream and also some chicken bone broth, just to try to get a little more flavor than what they be gotten. They be gotten, what am I talking about? So anyway, that is our ingredients, I believe. And um, pretty much everything's gonna be from scratch. Now, the only thing that's not gonna be from scratch is with my pasta, I always love me some garlic bread. And so I got some Texas toast in the freezer. I ain't making that from scratch. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Uh, but the only other thing that I've already done before starting this camera was basically just cut up some of the ingredients because who wants to just sit, sit there and watch me cut up vegetables and chicken? No. All right, so first things first, we're gonna wash our hands. We wanna be clean. But also, as you're watching this, understand this, I'm cooking for me and me only, okay? So if I touch myself or scratch myself, touch myself, touch anything, and I don't go back and wash my hands, that's on me. I'm eating it, not you. Don't worry about that, okay? Um, second of all, it looks like I'm adding too much seasoning or not enough. Again, cooking for me. I'm the one eating it, not you. So mind your business. Take all that negative fluff sheet on over there to your mammy's house because I don't want to hear it. Not here for that. Uh -uh. We're going to have some entertaining fun. We're going to talk about some good stuff. Hold up, wait a minute. Before I wash my hands and get into this food, with every good meal, you need a good drink. Oh, the king's cup. Baby, we 
could do without the top and the straw. Little Vincey Poo, give me some ice. My brother, her say. My brother from my Mexican mother. And a garbage plant. Isn't it a garbage? I think all tequilas. Yeah, blue garbage. I did go to Baltimore school. Like, that should have been enough right now. Ugh. That's enough. All right. Oh, I don't even think I got no real juice. Oh, oh yes, I do. All right, y'all. Key to a good drink, as I tell you all all the time, is just a splash. You don't do too much, you know. You just want just a little splash, just to get enough to taste it. But not overdo it. Okay. Oh! gonna catch on fire as soon as I light the stove. Oh Lord. Jesus. You know I don't waste no alcohol. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Gotta get that. Oh! Woo! You're not about to catch me on fire. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. Alcohol and fire don't mix well. Unless you're trying to burn down the trunk like Lisa left out Lopez and ain't nobody trying to do that. Mm -mm. Let you girl, no shade to Lisa left out. Use the one. I can't stand when I'm listening to No Scrubs on the radio and they play the version without your rap on it. That's that bullshit if you ask me. All right, let's get that. All right. My alcohol about to die like a motherfucker up in here. All right, so once you get your your main drink, you know, up in there. You know, you might sometimes want to hit it with a little, like, liqueur. For those of you who don't know the difference between liquor and liqueur, liqueur are your sweet alcohol. So they're made with a bunch of sugar, and usually your alcohol intake is very little. So Jose Cuervo, your alcohol intake is 40%. Hypnotic, 17%. Because it's mainly sugar. So you just want to get a drip of that, you know. Not a splash. Just a little drip. I should just finish this off, but I'm not about to be an alcoholic like that right now. And I kind of got to pay attention to what's going on. All right. And then with your little juice, whatever, I like raspberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade. You know, just get you like a little sprinkle. Just a little, just a little dash of color. Maybe a little more. You know, all depending on your life. Yeah. You know? But who drinks to just basically drink juice? You know, you want a little hit, a little taste of something. Just use that little juice for a little color. A little color, a little stir around, a little. Ooh, 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 to the left. Drop it down, drop it down low, man. Do low, low to the ground. Pick it up, clap and roll. Step it, step it, step it, and pick it up. Mm. All right. That's good thought. This will be here all night. So wash these wonderful hands, which are actually already clean, but y'all probably don't believe what you don't see behind the scenes. So I just clean them again. All right. I'm gonna get that water hot. Now, as I said, we already have the chicken and stuff cut up. Um, I probably should have already started boiling the water, but oh well. Oh, let's get some water in this pan. All right, let's put some water in the pan for our knitters. Ooh, oh, see, I was about to do it, but I said, nope, don't do it. Get your paper towel. Oh, people be the rudest when they see somebody cooking or something. Then all of a sudden, they become the perfect chef. They wash their hands every time they touch something. They cough and they wash their hands. Please, behind the scenes, y'all know y'all just as nasty as the other folks. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying, oh, crook. It's not one of my words I use on the rig. No shade to cardio. Cool. All right. All right, let's get the water started. Oh, wrong burner. We need the back. Don't catch on fire, please, because I know. All right, and then, you know, I've seen, I don't know if it really does. Add a little salt. I stole these from Chick-fil-A, little sea salt. Just put that in the water. 
Choo -choo -choo. I really don't use salt when I cook, so that's why I don't have my, my own salt. I just take it from Chick fil A when I go to Mind your business. Mind your business. Um, oh, and then they say put a little oil in the water. Too. You know, I heard you really don't want to. I forgot what show. Then I take a class. Something said you don't really want to put oil when you're making pasta because you want the sauce. I'm not going to use it because they say you want the sauce to attach to the noodles. And when you put this on the noodle in the water and the noodles become slippery and stuff, the sauce don't really attach. So I'm not going to do that. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna get the oil started though for our chicken in this pan. Let's get this warmed up and add some olive oil. Now, like I said, I already pre-cut the chicken, but I don't know if y'all keep up. There's a huge debate. What? How many more? Two. I don't know if you can see it. The camera's facing the other way. Because the camera's better, comes out clear quality when it, so I can't see what I'm doing. Hopefully, you guys, hopefully the thing's recording. As a matter of fact, let me check. Let me just check real quick. Oh, yeah, it's recording. Oh, Lord, now I gotta try to position it right again. Okay, all right, just, just stop. All right, let's keep that up. All right, now there's a huge debate as to whether or not you should clean your chicken or not clean your chicken. Dr. Oz, he said don't do it. He said when you're spraying the water on the chicken, the water's splashing and you're getting salmonella all over the place. The blacks, they say you better clean your chicken, okay? And I come from the blacks. So, you know, and I don't really know if I trust white people ever since there was another huge debate on Twitter as to whether or not you should wash your legs when you're in the shower. And most of them was like, I don't wash my legs because the soap trickles down from up here to down there. Even if, even if all the soap you put up here trickles down there, you still need to rub it. Rub it, rub it. Rub. You can put soap and water on your car, but unless you wax on, wax off, like Mr. Miyagi said, uh, the car ain't clean. Okay? Didn't mix that old Just. Okay. Mm. All right. So now while we wait for the skillet to warm and nothing and stuff before we put our chicken and stuff on there. Let's see. Oh, my phone was rebooting. Alright. Now, like I said, this is Dishing with David, where we're cooking a dish and we're going to be dishing about the latest pop culture, gossip, TV shows, movies, whatever y'all want to get into, we can get into it. You know, put a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all want to get into because I, I, I get into it. Now, I don't talk about religion, respect all. You got nothing to say about nobody's religion, do you? Politics, I don't give a fuck. You vote for who you vote for, you like who you like. My faith is in the Lord, not man, so it doesn't matter to me. So I don't talk about those two things. And you know, they say those are the two things you don't talk about. But I say there's three things in life you don't talk about. And the third thing is somebody's driving. Baby, don't you mention nobody. Don't you be no passenger, backseat driver. When the person's driving, don't be telling them to hit their brakes. Their foot's already on the brake, all right? They already know it's a red light or a stop sign. Shut your mouth. Things get very intense when people want to comment on somebody else's drive. Whew. It lights me up. Shut the fuck up when I'm driving, okay? I got this. I've only been in two accidents. One was kind of my fault, but I really don't think it was because they never came back and charged my insurance. So I think they was up to something no good. And I never saw them in my uh, mirrors. So I think they liked us off. They probably was riding dirty too. So I don't blame that one. The second one wasn't my fault. I got hit from the back. So we talking about accidents now, you know, like a little boo, uh, you know, pulling out the parking lot and you hit somebody. Might have did that a time or two. But they was never reported. So it don't matter. All right, so let's get this chicken. So I had three big chicken breasts. That's probably too much. I mean, I do live in this apartment all by myself. So I don't know who gonna eat all of this and I'm not eating that many leftovers. I might gotta pull a granny and freeze it. Ooh, granny will freeze some food and a will be okay. Stop saying it. Oh, chicken's falling on the floor, you nasty. This is too much chicken. This is too 
freaking mess. Oh, the chicken is so good. Picking it up with a napkin, not my hand. Whip for that later. All right, little chicken. All right, get up in there. Wanna use a spatula? Or I'm gonna use a spatula. All right. We get our chicken up in here and the olive oil. Might need some more later on. Who knows? But anywho, got your bam, your bread. All right. Now I'm gonna start. Now that it's actually in the oil. Stop it. some seasonings on this bad boy. Alright. Like I said, I get my little bedalia. Complete seasoning. Put that on there. Swoop, 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 swoop. Swish, 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 swish. I wish I could see me seasoning up these bad boys. But the way my kitchen is set up. Always using black pepper. Da -da 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 -da. Little black pep, black pep, black pep. Get it, get it, shake, shake, shake. Moves this out, bounces this out. Hey, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Y'all heard that thing from Nicki Minaj and Megan Stallion when they went live. I love it. I love it. Moves this out, sizz out. Hey, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. All right. Oh, okay. That's my your powder. Thought I did the gold. Oh, you know what? I didn't put the seasoning in there. Ah. Uh, I have to go back over it when I got my onions and bell peppers up in there. Alright, that's just just a little bit of seasoning. Not all your seasonings, not just shit, you know. So just put a, just put some seasonings in there. Can you see it? Can you oh we'll stop the Alright, mix that up a little bit. So I'm gonna let the chicken cook a little bit before I put in the green peppers and onions, because I don't want them to cook too fast while the chicken is still trying to get done. And our water is still boiling. Okay, I'm in the camera shot. I really don't know what's going on with this camera. Ooh, oh well. Small, you see, it's a small kitchen, so it's not too much that I can do with it, really. Really, I mean, it's tragic. All right. Now, yo, while we let that simmer get into this thing, there is something on my chest at one of my shows that I watch. And yes, I'm a man. Yes, I'm 30 years old. As of last Sunday, uh, as of October the 6th, as of October the 6th, I turned 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Not dirty 30. I don't do that. I'm clean. I don't do dirty 30s. We call it nerdy 30. Nerdy 30, 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 nerdy what is it? One who's a white, two? One person. Anywho. They done took me on a roller coaster this season, y'all. And I'm going to tell you, so I'll give it to them because they came out hot from episode motherfucking one this season. It was hot. It was on. It was pop, pop, popping. It was a lot. It was a lot. Like, it was. It's whoosh. Oh, my head still looks right. Oh. Mm. I got to sneeze something got on my nerves. Here to do. Alright. They came in hot, y'all. We're gonna add these peppers in here now, y'all. Give it a little color, a little pop. Probably could cut up more peppers. All they've got dead on chew. And our onions. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Funky onions. Every time I see an onion, I just think a Shrek. Y'all remember when he said he got layers and he got pity like an onion? Goddamn Shrek. Alright. So we're gonna go back over with our seasonings. And then we got everything in there. Bloop, 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 bloop. Get a little more complete. 
But yeah, so let's just start now. You know, whatever I say about people on these TV shows, it's just from the TV show. I don't know them from Adam or Eve. I just know what I see on the television. And that's all I can comment on. So these people might be great individuals in their personal lives with hearts as sweet as gold. But I'm going to talk about what's on the show. How it's edited. Okay? Where do I want to start? First, First, let me start, I feel like it's easy. Let me start with Tammy. You know, I respect Tammy. She feels she has outgrown the show. She's better than what she's been portrayed as. But I ain't gonna lie. I love messy, ready to fight, ghetto Tammy. Now, I've gone back and forth with Tammy. There's been moments when I feel like she's just a huge bully. She's picking on people who she knows she can take. Like that girl Keisha in, uh, not Bahamas. Bora Bora, uh, Tahibi. And she took their girl's purse. She knows she was wrong for that. And she's owned up to being wrong for that. It's a good part. So I understand that she's outgrown the show. And so this is a cumin or coming. And good for her. You know, good that you grown and you. But I really just felt like she ain't really need to be there this season. If you felt like it wasn't. I'm glad she came and we got to see her and Reggie get married. Because I do like her and Reggie together. And I like her daughters. I actually met Tammy. I met Tammy at the opening of um, Blame It On Quay, TT, his restaurant, Crab Queen. She was sweet as pie. I went to go talk to her. Her little managing bodyguard was like, or whoever it was with her, was like, no pictures. I was like, cool, I respect that, you know. Just because you're a celebrity, you ain't got to take pictures with everybody. You ain't got to, you ain't got to do that. But she still held out her hands to hold my hand. And I thought that was so, and she let me say a few words to her. We talk, we laugh. She most likely don't remember this at all because she runs into millions of people. But I just thought it was the nicest, sweetest thing because she didn't have to do that. Like, the bodyguard was already pretty much saying, get lost, like, we try to eat. Because that was BET weekend, so I'm sure they had a lot to do. And Tammy was cool, 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 cool. And, like, I really, I respected her for giving me that time to just say, you know, how much I like her. I, I, I was proud of her and Reggie. Cause this was right after their special came out, so I appreciate, I appreciate Tammy. Like I said, I went back and forth for her on these seasons of Basketball Wives. Um, I felt like she was wrong last season with what she said to Evelyn. Oh, for he the season, what she said to Evelyn about the whole domestic violence thing. Uh, I don't think Evelyn lied about that situation at all, but I like Jess. I do, and I ain't taking up for nobody. Well, I mean. Is. I like Chris Brown and he did his wrong. People grow up, people change, people make mistakes. Like, get over with people. Anyway, so, but Tammy, Tammy didn't need to be there. She didn't want to be a part of the drama. She she had like a little bit of drama with Phoebe, who will get into Phoebe as well. Again, I only know what I see on TV. I don't know nothing else about these people. Ooh, ooh this season smells good. Ooh. I want to eat this already, and the chicken ain't even fully cooked. Your go, Dave. Oh, yeah, Dave. So she could, she, you know, she could have deal with that this season. But it was a cute little send off. That was cute. That was, I just wish she would have interacted. I wish she would have been on the trip. I wish her and Cece were closer because I really like Cece's one of my favorites. So uh, I know she's close to OG. So I just wish like OG could help mend that, or not men, but like maybe I don't know. But I mean. Tammy said she didn't really trust Cece because it seemed like Cece always got amnesia about something. But I feel like Cece owns her stuff. I don't know what else they're saying, but I feel like she owns it. And, and I love Cece. Anyway, so yeah, get Tammy on out the way. So that's it. Anyway, Jackie Crystal. That goddamn one. Jackie surprises me every season. Let me tell you something. I used to have a real disdain for Jackie in the early. Basketball Wives LA seasons. I wanted Jackie gone. I wanted her out of there. Get out. Stop being on this show. You are ruining this show for me. I wanted her gone. Ooh, Jackie used to piss me off, y'all. This smells really good. I, let me see if I can try to show y'all. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at this steam. This looks like it's a, all I'm missing is the green bell peppers. Because otherwise, this looks like a pizza. But anyway, mind your manners. Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, this apple. That got that on hold. Hey, brother. Hmm. Oh, you hit me.
me different that time. What's going on? All right. Ooh, man. Okay. What's going on? What's going on here? Hold up. Got to do a little tap, tap right quick. Ooh. Am I supposed to wash my hands even though the napkin is touching it? I'm going to do it just in case. I don't got time to hear no boo crap. Jackie. Jackie, she has tried to keep her cool, and I'm so proud of her. She has really changed him. I can really start respecting Jackie. Ooh. It was probably before this, but I know I really started respecting her when she stood her ground against Evelyn. I was Team Jackie that entire situation because. Not to talk about nobody's child, even though they are grown. And first of all, let's speak about that. Talking about somebody, I'm so tired of people talking about, don't talk about my child, don't talk about my child on reality TV. First of all, most of the times the person is not talking about your child. Second of all, these children are grown. Third of all, all of you all on these reality shows talking about one another, you're a child of somebody. So you're talking about someone's child when you're going after them. So why is your child off limits? I guess you can say because they're not signed up for the show or whatnot. But again, like I said, most of the times that I see this incident happen, the person's not actually talking about the child. They're not calling the child home, blah, blah, blah. What Jackie said about Evelyn's story, I'm not even in the business. And I heard that, like, it was on the internet that, you know, like mother, like daughter, like blah. So to build a whole comment, I know where Jackie was coming from. And she said she's not going around saying that. She didn't say your daughter is a real dog. She just said she ain't saying it. Although she could say it. So I was with Jackie. And Jackie stood her ground the whole motherfucking time. And I appreciated her for that. Because I was proud of her. Um. So this season. You know I feel bad for Jackie. Because I feel like. And. I used to be a huge fan of Malaysia. This season, something just wasn't right with Malaysia. Oh, I think the water's ready for the new one. Malaysia was my girl for episode one, season one. Of, wasn't it the first episode when um, she had water right in her face? Popped that girl right in her face. So, uh, I, I'm from, what she say, Compton or wherever she from, Inglewood. Don't play with Malaysia. Ever since that day, people knew not to mess with Malaysia. And I love her for that. I love her for that. Malaysia, I ain't got time to talk. I'm, 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 you want this? Come get this work. I loved it. I loved it. No shade to you, Laura, because you, you became cool later on in my book, too. But at first, I ain't like Laura. But she ain't on the show, so we're not discussing Laura. So, I feel like Malaysia jumped on Jackie for no reason. Jackie didn't talk about Malaysia's kids. Jackie didn't make this rumor up that went around about Malaysia and Malaysia and her kids. That's not, me and she brought it to the collector. My new favorite word, thank you OG for the word collector. But she wasn't, as a matter of fact, Kristen was the one who threw in, your kids are dirty and all that stuff. Check Kristen for a run. And even Phoebe said in her confession, she was like, I don't remember hearing this man say none about her kids are dirty. So that was Kristen. Stirring the pot, adding things up, adding things in, and I'm gonna get to Kristen because <laughs> Jackie was attacked for no reason during that whole incident, that whole dilemma, and I don't appreciate it. But again, I love that Jackie stands her own. She's like, You ain't gonna cover me with this bull crap. So when Jackie's right, I'm on Jackie's side, and Jackie is right in this incident. Yeah, maybe she should have went to Malaysia with it, but this is a reality TV show. This is what they're paid to do, to go around the group and talk about what's being said, what's going on, and collect their check. Like, let's stop playing dumb and acting like that's not what they get paid to do. And let's not act like this isn't something that they've all done. They all go around and talk about the other one to the next one to the next one. to the It's a game of telephone. And not just basketball wives, love and hip hop, the housewives, married to men, all these reality shows. I don't think the Kardashians do it. Well, they, yeah, they be talking about y'all, but they family. Like, that's what family do. As long as you don't go beneath the belt. But anyhow. Um, so, I'm with Jackie on that. Yeah. 
they really, when they first put the season, they really hyped up their whole skating rink. Seemed like a real fight was going to happen, and ain't nothing happened. But good promo, because they had me tuned in from see the same thing with that bushes scene. We're going to get to that, too. We're going to get to that, too. Who's next up on the slate? Who's on this show? Oh, OG Slash told you. And I only say told you because I do think that was a clever name that Ellen came up with. But I rise with OG. OG OG's a real one. I like her. Could not stand her last season. I will admit that. Last season was not a good season for OG to me. She stepped it up this round. OG was wrong. And out in the situation about the father and the son and all of that stuff. That wasn't her place. Nor, nor was their argument that they was getting into... It wasn't that deep that she needed to do that. Like that just went that 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 wasn't it. You was just waiting to use that. Like honestly, oh, you know, you was just waiting to use that. You couldn't wait to use that, and you you found the perfect time to do it, or you what you thought was the perfect time. That was wrong. I don't blame CC at all for telling her that information because that's what friends do. Friends tell the their friends information. And Byron clearly ain't tripping. So like CeCe has been saying all season long, it's not that big of a deal. It's not a secret. It is what it is. So for everyone to turn that around to CeCe's the puppet master, CeCe told you so that you would bring this to the collective. She was using you. Uh oh. Oh, Lord. God dang it. Stop. Because one minute y'all calling Cece dumb, y'all saying she ain't got no backbone, y'all saying she's stupid. Now all of a sudden she's the puppet master and she's got OG doing her thing. But then OG's too aggressive. So why, if aggressive OG, why would she be listening to Cece or letting Cece put a battery in her back? Y'all are just so hypocritical and just delusional in the things that y'all come up with that it just, it irks me through the TV script. It makes me want to be a woman and come through that TV screen and be a part of the cast and be all y'all Ada Snakesters. We're OG. I'd be like, come on, OG. They call you aggressive. Let's both be aggressive together. Like, I can't take it. Ooh, it, mm. it makes some good TV because I was tuned in all season long. I feel like I'm leaving something out. Though. No, I'm just, no, okay. I think I'm good. All right, so basically the chicken, I believe it's, I know it's done, but we just gonna let it sit and sit. Actually, let me taste a piece. Give me a little piece. Ooh, 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 to the left. I just wanna have a good time. Just wanna have a different slide. Let's see. All right, now I know I said I would lie to y'all if it didn't taste, but I'm gonna let y'all know the truth right now. Taco meat. Uh, <laughs> Taco seasoning. They eat the seasoning. Mm, that's cute. I like it. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. So we're just going to let that sit. I'm going to put a. I'm gonna turn it over, but I'm going to put a top on it just so like it can stay hot and steam while these noodles get ready. How long I've been cooking for? Oof. Probably this ain't taking too long because I don't think it was supposed to be long. Got where I was at in the store. Mm. <clears throat> <sighs> Let's go. Toji, critical, hypocritical. All right. Um. But yeah, I love Toji because. Ooh. Oh. Um. She don't play around. I like people who don't do their talking. I can't stand a talker. If you want to get to the business, get to the business. Now, I'm not one for... I'm not one for fighting in real life. Like, I can't stand to see somebody get beat up. I never have that. I don't watch boxing because I can't stand to see somebody get beat up. I don't, um... I couldn't stand when hip-hop world... Hip world star was, like, the thing to do. I couldn't stand those videos. People sharing the people fighting and getting beat up. It's not my thing. I do enjoy a good fight on reality TV. I'm not gonna lie. It 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 entertain. That goddamn one reunion when Jocelyn and Stevie J was that shit. Bad and boot. Ratings. Okay. 
that was some entertaining stuff. <sighs> you know what? That's crazy that I don't watch because I used to watch Jerry Springer all the time and they sure not. But no, the bodyguards was cut. You know, as long as it don't get too bad. I don't want to see nobody bloody and bruised up and their eyes are like, okay, I don't want to see that. But sometimes a person needs to get popped real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because they just run their mouth. There are some people who are just talkers, 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 and they need to learn to. If you can't back it up, you shouldn't be talking. If you can back it up, then you deserve it to get hit. And then you back it up. You know, once you get hit, you do what you got to do. That's all I'm saying. Not to promote violence or nothing, but shit. I had a small mouth going up. My mama sure popped me in the mouth like she needed to. Because my mouth was terrible. And she knew I wouldn't fight her back. So she had it on. She had an upper hand on me. She wouldn't try that today. It's like, I'm just kidding, mama. I'm just kidding. I ain't playing with you, Tyler. You know you five foot one. And old. Um, but I like to touch it. When Crystal was like, stop touching me. And OJ was like, I didn't touch you. But if I did, then what? I felt that in my, I felt it. I felt that in my heart, my soul, my spirit. Because I'm with OJ. Although, like, Shawnee claims she touched me. But Shawnee got her biases. But I get into that. If she did touch her or kept touching her, like Kristen said, Kristen, what are you going to do? Again, could be sweetest pie in life. I'm just talking about what I see on TV. What I see on TV, Kristen is not a fighter. Kristen is a talker. Kristen talks big sugar honey iced tea. I don't see her backing it up in a fight. Could be wrong. But I feel like I'm right. I feel like I'm right. But you never know. There are people who look at me and say he couldn't do it. I didn't take boxing for no reason. Man. I'm real skinny and small and not your average man. So I, I had to learn how to defend myself. But growing up with my sister, I had to beat that big back Cadillac every time I had to. Oh, it's a big back Cadillac. Anyway, she really ain't that big with Cadillac. But she, for me, my small size. But I appreciate it. She helped me get tough skin and she helped me become strong and defend myself. She used to tear me up. Knocked out my first tooth, actually. But we were just playing that time. That actually wasn't a fight, but she kicked. Yes, she did. How did say? Yes, he did. He hit me. And I beat him down two more feet. We was playing, and this tooth right there. She kicked me up. Oh, oh. Well, there was two. It was loose. And thank God it was a baby tooth, not a adult tooth. Teeth, too. Anywho, I keep getting off track. That's what I do when I drink. I'm sorry, yo. The food looking good. I think these noodles might be done. Look at these. Ooh. I don't know if y'all can see. Look at these noodles. Y'all think they al dente? Al dente say I took a cooking class in high school. To God damn. Al dente is when it's smooth to the salt to the. It's salt. It's al dente. You know it when you bite into it and taste it. Let me see. Let me see. This hot shit. I don't think they big though. Uh uh, they ain't out there. I just they got no more cooking though. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I don't taste nothing. I don't know why people, but I never taste the salt. But they say, I guess I shouldn't taste the salt. They're supposed to bring the flavor out. But this is this whole grain pasta. Whole grains ain't got no flavor. I got no flavor. I can't stand by whole grain bread, but I be trying to be as healthy as I can. Although I ain't doing that vegan stuff, I would never give up a piece of steak. Uh-uh. Now I could do I could do no pork. But chicken and steak, lobster, crab, shrimp, uh-uh. You stay in my system, my diet. Oh yeah, so they told you. I'm with to and I appreciate told you for I don't mm, I don't think CC needs back up. I mean they showed the thing of her doing that karate, kung fu stuff, whatever she was doing. Kickboxing. I ain't say karate because she was Asian or Kung Fu. I wasn't saying that. I, mean, I, I love CC. CC is one of my favorites. Um, so I do think she can defend herself, but I don't think she wants to fight on camera. So I appreciate when OG ran up behind Evelyn and 
make her turn into that. Because I'm not going to say OG. But I think OG like smooth Evelyn. And Evelyn, I don't know if she, I think she was drinking that day. I think she might have tumbled, tumbled, tumbled into the bushes. But I ain't gonna, I don't think OG like pushed her to go into the bushes. So that's why I ain't, ain't going to play Evelyn like that. If they told you pushed her into the bushes. I'm going to say she, Evelyn fell into the bushes. But I appreciate her having her back. And I agree with Toby. But Malaysia say she was she was coming to help, but again, Malaysia lost me this season. I, I I think I think Malaysia stuck up for Kristen way more than she did Cece, and she sat around and let all those women talk about Cece. But yet, you won't let anyone sit up and talk about Kristen. Is this hot from the nose? No, it should be good. Um. You you definitely defended you even defended Evelyn more than you defended CC. CC was venting to you after the Doom Buggy ride about Evelyn, and you was like, no, don't say that, don't call her that. Don't. Now maybe you were saying that because you felt like she wasn't ever going to speak up and defend herself. Maybe that's why you were saying that. But it's like you sit up and let Shawnee, Evelyn, Kristen, all of them say with Phoebe, all of them say whatever they wanted to about CC. But yeah, when CC telling you. Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn is Evelyn, Evelyn's a hood. You're like, no, nah, don't say that, don't say that. No, you can't close her mouth from saying stuff, but then let the whole collective talk about your family. You've been calling her family this whole time, but you're letting them talk about, diss her, mock her, imitate her. It ain't right, it wasn't right. And, and, and it wasn't right for Malaysia to go after Jack, it just, in my opinion, it just wasn't. Um. Shawnee, I ain't been a fan of her since season one. As a matter of fact, I tuned in season one. I was like, oh, this is some boo. I didn't tune back in. One day in college, I had I cooked dinner. And I invited a friend over. She's like, oh, I don't know what's my sauce. Anastasia, you know who you are. Oh, I didn't say your name. It's you, Anastasia. She's like, oh, what's my sauce? Oh, what's my sauce? We did have some wine. And maybe that's what got me tuned in. And I think it was actually a fight. I think it was the episode Royce and Evelyn were throwing drinks at one another and was about to get it lit. And I was like, oh, what's this? This is interesting. It no sense. I tried not to watch it and tune in and become a fan. I used to like my father, before I even got into like, I used to watch like competition reality shows like Survivor, Big Brother. My daddy was watching the Kardashians. He was watching Housewives of Atlanta. Sorry to put your business out there, daddy, but you ain't ashamed. Yeah, you ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. Make him watch these shows. It's cool. Oh, he was into all the reality shows. I just used to look at him like, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. And then look at me. I ought to be ashamed of me too. Who face me? My daddy and my mama. This noodle's done. I'm ready to mix everything together. I'm tired of cooking. Oh, let me preheat this up. What is garlic bread for? Oh, I threw the box away. I'm gonna just do 450. Oops, I didn't change the time on the cook because the oven is down here. You big dummy. Um. Anyway, back to Sean. I've never really cared for Shawnee because I've just always felt like Shawnee. Well, first of all, I was a huge fan of Gloria. And I hated the way they all came after Gloria. Although Gloria's relationship did not last like she was saying it would, that still wasn't for Evelyn, Jennifer, Shawnee to always come at her and pretty much tell her that it's not just that. Let that girl live in her happiness. Let her do what she want to do with her dude, her man, her husband. The way, just because, well, Sean was, you know, Jennifer's right there. Just because Evelyn, just because Sean and Jennifer, y'all marriage wasn't where y'all wanted to be. You can't say the same thing is going to happen to that girl and her husband. Like, they was good. They was fine. And running the camera. Again, I go by what I see on the TV screen. Like, let that girl be. If she says she don't want your opinion on her relationship, leave her alone. And I ain't like how they was playing that game. But, um... So, that always bugged me about Shawnee. 
And then, uh, maybe that was the episode I was tuned in. They went to that boxing match, that boxing ring. Oh, I think Royce ended up not liking Gloria either, and I was mad about that because I like both of them. But anyway, and to me, ever since then, when I watch the show, I see Shawnee Hope. Oh, oh, she edits her story to be so her accomplishments or her businesses and things of that nature. Whereas everyone else is just thrown under the bus to just show the drama side or the fights or the arguments and stuff like that. And then I feel like she's very biased with Evelyn and Tammy. I think she lets Evelyn and Tammy do whatever they wanted to do. Again, love you, Evelyn. I love you, Tammy. Nothing against Evelyn. Oh, that was bad. I should have edited it out of my own. Ooh, to touch my to touch my hand, I don't care. Um she let them do, and she makes excuses for them and lets them do whatever they want to do. But yeah, it's always different rules for other women in the group. And I don't like that. I don't like that. And I feel like, I feel like Shawnee instigate things, but in a delicate way, or in a sly way. But I see my food. Now again, this is just what I see on TV. If I met Shawnee in real life, who knows? We could be the best of friends. And if we are, I just have to tell her, you know you wrong on basketball. You know you wrong in this scene or in that set. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fair like that. And it could just be the editing. It could be editing. Because I don't, th I don't think EPs are part of the editing. Because Mariah from Married to Medicine, I don't think she's part of that. So I don't know if Shawnee has reign over that. And it could be, you know, they just, they show, they show Shawnee in a good light and don't show any bad stuff. And she ain't got nothing to do with that. It could be done. Well, I think that's how I say. I don't stop that gentle. And so, but what I see on TV, I don't like. Really lost respect for her when she tried to pull that boss move on Brandy, who I think needs to come back to the show. Which I need some answers on that. If anybody who sees this, if you know Malaysia or Brandy, if you know Malaysia, send this to her because I need to know this. How did you become cool with Evelyn, who dogged your friend Brandy? And she didn't even have a reason to dog Brandy. Like it was, who was mad at? I think it was Shawnee was mad at her. Was it Tammy too? Was Tammy part of that? Cause it was three people who got up and I think it was Tammy, Evelyn and Shawnee. They got up and walked away. How did you become cool? And like, what was the reason? Send this to Evelyn too. Cause I used to, Evelyn, what was the reason for you dogging Brandy? To my knowledge, y'all never had an issue with B. But you was like, uh, who was this girl? And blah, blah, blah. When you came back to basketball wise. And so, send this to Shawnee, because I need to know what happened to Basketball Wives, which is Miami, Basketball Wives LA. Because the last I knew, Basketball Wives Miami got canceled, and LA was the only one on the show. But now when the show comes on, it's just called Basketball Wives. I'm Confucianist. Fluff. I need some answers. Something ain't right in the TV swirl. Now, anywho, yeah, the way she did Brandy with the thank you for your services, just because Brandy called her to be with First of all, if you want to get into the drama with the girls, then you should be, it should be no problem for them to call you the B word. It should be no problem, because that's what happens. They all call each other the B word. They all talk about each other. So if you want to be in the mix, you should be fair game. It shouldn't be soon as someone talks about you. Oh, your job is gone. Second of all, unless, I don't, unless she's more than just an EP, which I thought that's all she was. She was the creator in the EP. I don't think Shawnee has the reign to hire and fire people. Correct me if I'm wrong, but again, I, all I can know, all I can think of is Mariah from Married to Medicine. If you know her, she created that show, Married to Medicine. She is an EP. She can't hire or fire anybody. If she could, Quar would have been gone a long time ago. Huh? I don't think Shawnee got the right, but you like you played it like you do have, and I feel like Brandy kept saying it the next season when she came back. You keep acting like you you can't fire your hire your blah 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 blah. So I don't like that. I don't like that as soon as someone comes at you, now it's like you're threatening with their job of being on the show. No, you want to be in the mix, be in the mix. Don't try to boss up soon as somebody tries to come after you. Another reason, Shawnee, Jen talking about the affairs and all that stuff, that's not talking about your children. That ain't got nothing to do with your children. Your children ain't thinking two seconds about Jen for saying, first of all, because like Jen said, it is already out in the news. And again, if we're going to do that, then you all talking about each other is putting somebody else's parents, child's business out of there. Y'all talking about Jennifer? Jennifer has parents. That's a tough subject, but y'all know what I'm saying. 
she ain't got mom. I don't know if she still got her daddy in her life, but you still talking about someone's child. Talking about her. So stop with all that. But I think that is just such a reach when they try to use their children as a. She wasn't doing. Ooh, that's hot. Jennifer wasn't talking about your children. She wasn't talking about you. She's about shit, all right? So, stop that children excuse. Ugh, I can't stand when they do that. That's a lot of guys should. They use their children as a reason to be mad at them. No, just say you want to be mad at that person. That's all that you want to be mad at them. It ain't got nothing to do with your children. And if you ain't want your children to be hurt and stuff, you shouldn't be on a reality show. You should not be on a reality show. You don't want to, you feel like someone talking about you or your ex, don't be on the reality show. Reality show is supposed to be about your life. It's supposed to be about reality. And in reality, Shaq's done his business. Y'all have both made that clear. None against Shaq either, because I love Shaq. But call the spade a spade. Let's be truthful. And then this just holds it. Ugh. Evelyn. I mean, ugh, keep saying that. What? I'm obsessed with you, Evelyn. I must be. Shawnee sitting up there mocking Cece. And it's just like, Cece ain't never said nothing about you. She ain't never did nothing to you. She, she respected you. And you just disrespect that girl because you're around Evelyn. And Evelyn has a problem with her. So you want to hype her up. And then when OG did that, you're blaming Cece. Cece ain't had nothing to do with OG. Oh, I'm getting high. Oh, I'm getting high. And I'm just sitting here talking to myself to a camera. And I'm getting high. To kill you, you really make people mad. Oh, Jesus. All right, so. Woo! All right, as you saw, drain the water. We got our pasta noodles. Now, the recipe was for a one pot chicken vegeta pasta. I don't think I did that right because I had this. And then this, so I used. So I'm more like a one pot, one pan chicken. Anywho, all right, so I'm going to reheat the, or light up the burner where the noodles are, and I'm gonna pour the chicken and stuff into that mix, and then I'm gonna add the milk, whipping cream. Did I get whipping cream or heavy cream? Are they the same things? Because I got whipping cream. I was supposed to get heavy cream. Honestly, the thing doesn't, I don't know if I said this earlier now, I've been drinking. The recipe does not call for heavy cream or whipping cream. It just says five cups of milk, but I just, I think that's obsessive, excessive, obsessive, excessive. I think I hide here. I don't, this video, I don't, that thing is still recording. Boy, I've been just talking to myself. Oh well. Um, whipping cream. Is that the same? I should, oh dang, my friend is asleep. Oh, everybody on East. I'm gonna see Lemon Club. Let me. Hold on. Let me. I can Google. Let me see. Um. <laughs> you big dumb. Oh, hold on. I got music. dump all this lovely fajita goodness into our noodles and then start stirring it up and then start adding the milk chicken broth heavy whipping cream and then our cheese we're going to add on top so let's just what is don't fall out this pan go right where you're supposed to go do not play with me this is a lot of food i'm gonna have to 
have some friends in the next day or two and try to invite them over to eat some. If it's good, otherwise. Otherwise, it's gonna be my little secret. You're my little secret. And that's how we should keep it. It's on everybody's mind about you and I. They think so, but they don't never really wanna know. All right. Now, y'all well, black folks, y'all know we don't measure nothing when it comes to seasoning. But when it comes to liquids, I measure. So if the thing calls for five cups of milk, but I'm adding other things, I'm going to do, going to do, let's see what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do two cups of the fat-free milk, two cups of the whipping cream, and probably just one cup of the chicken broth. Okay. All right. I've got the oven on low. I mean the burner on low. I got the oven on 450 heating up for the garlic bread. Why did I pull out four pieces? Oh, did I? And I just threw the thing away. I should have done that because I only like my garlic bread the day it's made. I like it fresh. I don't like to cook garlic bread and then let it sit out overnight. And then, why well, I say two cups? All right. So, um, yes, Shawnee. I ain't never been a fan of her on the show. On the show. Although I do appreciate her bossing up and doing her business things with, I think her move with the real estate. I learned in my cooking class in high school, when you do a liquid, you bend down to eye level to see if it's the same. I got a little more than two, but that's all right. Um, but anywho, like I'm saying, I enjoy, Oh, I said I was only going to do two. Um, yeah, I think it's boss move to do the real estate in Inglewood, especially with the um, stadium being built. Pisses me off, though, because I just moved to California, and I was going to move to L.A., but I think, like, everything's getting expensive. I'm going to move to L.A. I was going to move to Inglewood, but it looks like everything's getting expensive because of the stadium. So, it ain't cheap housing anymore. But I love Inglewood. It's supposed to be the hood. I love the hood. Kind of. I like some parts of it. I'll be fake ratchet and bougie you know, at the same time. Alright, so two. I did this. Oh, is this even two cups? Oh, I think this whole thing is two cups. Child, please. Just finish that. I could just pour the whole thing in. Ain't that some bull crap? And this was like $4.99. And it's only two cups of liquid. Child, get out of here. Put this back in. I'm going to use that with some cereal in the morning. All oh, this food, I might have to have this for breakfast. What the fuck? You're my little. Why is that song still on my mind? Okay. Mm. And then we're gonna use the chicken broth. Also learned in cooking class that when you have like things like this whipping cream and stuff like that, like heavy stuff that you're putting in, heavy liquids that you're putting in here, you always want to use the lighter liquid last. So like if I had to do water, you want to put water in here so it get it all out there. So this chicken broth, this is very liquidy, or rather this is chicken bone broth. It stink, but, but not stink because it's bad. This don't go bad until June 6, 2020, so I don't think I'm using old stuff. Oh Lord, I might not even have a cup. Just feel like it's about empty. Oh, 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 I'm just thinking, I'm glad I finally finished that all. Well, folks, we just gonna finish it off with some milk. Shoot. Ain't got no whipping cream left to do it anyway. One cup. Um, so good for Shawnee for her boss in the weed, even though I don't, I'm not a weed person, but good for you, girl. Make your money. Do your thing. Do your thing. Um, he's getting a Phoebe real quick. Phoebe, again, what I see on the show, nothing against you personally, just on the show. Not a fan. Could have did without her the whole season. I feel like she came in with an agenda to hate everybody who Evelyn hated. 
and I do like her realness when she first came on the show. I feel like she was very real. Um, she wasn't about the LA stuff. She wasn't about that life. I think as time went on, she became about that. I mean, she ended up doing the whole veneers, teeth that everybody else do. Look like a freaking horse's mouth. I don't understand why that is the thing to do in Hollywood. All the money people be having, can't you get teeth that look more real, more natural? Why must we all do the veneers? I hope I'm in the frame. I don't know. Let's just lift it up just in case. Um. Ooh. God damn new dang noodle. All right. Let's so just stir up some. I feel like I need to add more. Ooh. Shit just falling all out. The point of using the big pan is so stuff don't fall out you bastard. Um, yeah, I'm gonna add more seeds. That's just starting to look dry. It's making that noise though, like that mac and cheese that we like to hear. Y'all hear that? Mmm, mmm, this sounding real wet. It's gushy. Y'all so nasty. Ooh, y'all nasty. Um. Dang. I'm gonna drink when you drink. You're supposed to not even really taste the drink no more. That thing gets strong with each sip. I just wanna have a good time. Um. Chili powder. Look, the ch look, y'all. The chi hopefully you can see. Chili powder don't even come out for real. So I just have to take. <laughs> God dang on all these brands, all these, all these. I want y'all to do better seasoning, cause this cheap stuff. I gotta take the whole top off to get the stuff to come out. You bastards. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Feed me, feed me, feed. And then. You get mad at Jackie. What did she get mad at Jackie for? Hold on. Because first I think she's mad at Toji. Toji ain't do nothing but tell the truth. Then you got mad at Jackie. Was Jackie the one who went to Tammy? I think it was Jackie who went to Tammy. But Jackie said what you said. Like, what are you talking about? Oh. Uh, uh, and then, like, you talking about CC? To my knowledge, CC never said anything about you. You calling her a clown and all of this? Again, I feel like she came in to hate who Evelyn hated and like who Evelyn liked. You came in as a backbone, as a friend. Which Evelyn? I don't want to say backbone because Evelyn don't need it. Evelyn can't stand her own ground. I'll give her that. Evelyn can stand her own. Ground. At least I think. I think, I wonder what it would be like for Evelyn if she ever had a season where everybody was against her. Like, everybody's against you. Um, I wonder if she would be able to handle it. Can you handle it if I go there with you? Can you this, this was too much liquid. I don't think we needed five cups of nothing. This is ridiculous. Look at this foolishness. It's about to spill on my floor. I don't know if we can see all of that. I need to like lift you up. Ooh! I done pulled the whole thing off the tripod. Oh Lord. But had I known I could do that a long time ago, I would have been there. Did you see it? Did you get a good glimpse of just how liquidy and stuff is? What is it going to thicken up? My friend that went to sleep. She don't want ooh. Okay, cool, y'all. Cool, right. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, these guys still season it a little more. Mm. All right, all this splashing you doing. Um, well, I guess I can't say she came in to hate. Well, no, because Evelyn did not hate 
Jackie coming. She ended up not liking Jackie after. So, yeah, I stick with what I said. She came in to dislike who Evelyn disliked and liked who Evelyn liked. She said she wanted to be friends with Jackie the whole time. Ooh, it's so sad. I could spend all this time talking about basketball. But I am talking about the whole season. It's like I'm, it's not like I'm just talking. I spill another thing. It's not like I'm just talking about one episode. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Something is a little plain now. That was a little plain. Just need to hurry up and thicken up so I can add the cheese and be done with this bull crap. Getting hot. Ooh. Okay. Oh, maybe if I put the top on. Oh, maybe if I turn the goddamn thing up a little bit. What, is this the same top? No, that's the top. No, is this the top? All right, we're going to let that simmer. All right, so look, Phoebe, we could've did without. And from what I hear, I hear she, she wasn't much of anything at the reunion, so we could've did without her at the reunion too, which we get into that reunion too. Uh, mm, 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 you should be in the pan a little bit of seasoning. I feel like I talked about Malaysia already and my disappointment. I still love her. I think Malaysia's a beautiful girl. I don't get why people keep saying she um, lighting her skin. I don't think so. I think so. I think just it might just be the light in from the photos or I don't know. Don't get me started. Um, CC, I, I mean, really, really. CC, I love CC. Uh, I feel like I feel like there are some things she should just own immediately that she doesn't, but I feel like she does come back and own it. I think Kristen' whole mission is to just dog CC. And she seems to have this problem with CC, but I'm like, Kristen, if you go back and look and realize it, you started this. You were the one. Jennifer put your business out there at that lunch or brunch, whatever it was, because you went to her and Evelyn, or you went to her, you went to one of them, and you said that your relationship with CC was superficial. Now, how can it be superficial when CC just told you, oh, CC just said to the world that. You're the only one who knows what she's gone through. She went to you and told you all the stuff she went through when she got with Byron. That's not a superficial relationship. And I do believe CC told you things like, I think so. Also, how was it a super, how is it a superficial relationship when you keep trying to make it right? You keep trying to talk to her and find a, a superficial relationship. It'd be done. It gone. It gone. You wouldn't be crying over it. Man, don't try to say it's because of Byron and you're really, no, no, no. This is about you and Cece and you get emotional every time y'all two talk. You are so hurt because it's about Cece. You're so hurt because it's Cece. It has nothing to do with Byron. Like, stop it. It was never superficial. But that's what you put out there because you wanted to be friends with Evelyn and Jennifer so bad, you threw your girl under the bus. From what I see on TV, I loved Kristen her first season. The first three, four episodes. I ain't got nothing really nice to say about her the next couple of episodes in the next season, so I'm not going to really say anything. I hope that Cece sticks to her guns and just be done with Kristen. baby Paul the phone drink. This is only 27% alcohol, so this must be a liqueur too. Oh, I should be mixing. You should not mix tequila with stuff. Ugh, I really hope this thing is still recording. I feel stupid if it's not. Then I feel stupid if it is because I'm sitting here talking about ugh. I'm just going to lose this. So, Jennifer. Yo, just like I said, I said about somebody else. Jack, couldn't stand Jackie person. Couldn't stand Jennifer for the most time. Uh, when did I become a fan of Jennifer? Well, not a fan, but like, a fan. Last season, I something in my soul and my heart, something about it, tells me Jennifer did not talk about Evelyn's daughter the way that people say she did. 
I do fully, well, she's admitted that she talked about the whole Shaq and Evelyn thing. I, that's 100% in the bag. I believe she did that. To talk negatively about, dang, that's good. Probably because it ain't nothing but sugar mixed with sugar. Wow, that is a Dang. I should do a hose like that in the mm. That's a drink right there. Pour me some. Pour me some peach. Grande Amber. First of all, let me teach us again, bartender school. So this is a brandy, right? Again, I think this is a liqueur with the peach and the low alcohol. But anyway, when you see brandy in the stores, I feel like a lot of y'all be shading brandy. Little do you know. For you big balls that always want to do Hennessy. Hennessy is a brandy. Brandy, Hennessy, cognac, they're the same. The difference between Hennessy and whatever regular brandy that you got is that it was made in cognac, France. That's it. It's still brandy. It's just a brandy made in cognac. So all y'all spending y'all. I ain't gonna say your rent money. Hopefully nobody's well, it would be nice if your rent was forty, fifty dollars, but y'all spending money on bottles, bottles, or oh, in the club. Y'all spending five hundred sixty dollars on a bottle of Hennessy. Can you get you a brandy? Now I ain't saying the peach one. Get you a regular brandy that'd be forty percent alcohol just like Hennessy. Get you a regular brandy. You're good to go. It's the same thing. Same taste, at least to me. Um a year. Back to these basketball girls and two wives and a fiance. Um, Jennifer. I don't think she said anything. I think she was set up. I think the girls were after her. I feel like all these reality shows, you, you pick someone, they gang up on, and that's what happens. It's weird for me to say this, though, because I don't take Malaysia as a liar. I don't take her as a liar. I do think she was mad at Jennifer, though, for the thing about the whole Shaq thing and going to her. But I honestly, I don't think Jennifer went to Malaysia with that information for her to... I don't think she used her in the way that they're trying to say she used her. I think she was like, oh, if you use it, you use it. But if you don't, you don't. Like, I think I think she was fine with that. But that's just my opinion. This is really liquidy. I wonder, is it when I add the cheese that'll thicken up? I feel like I, I ain't got no flour. I don't fry nothing, so I got this flour would have thickened it up. Let me stop putting the cheese in here because I just can't do this. So, but, and then that piece that Shawnee added, mm -mm. Mm -mm. something just in my soul is telling me Shawnee made that up because she wanted a problem with y'all. And she wanted to come between Jennifer. Well, she already had the problem with Jennifer about the whole Shaq incident. Which is crazy because you ain't have a problem with Tammy about having a conversation about it. Whether who made it or whatnot, the conversation was had. It doesn't matter about who thought. You entertain a clown, you become a part of the circus. That's just what I believe. And I'm ready to become a part of the circus, baby. Sign me up for reality TV right now. Um, shoot, I just want my student loans paid for, okay? Um, I should have bought two bags of cheese. I want a cheese, cheese whiz. I love cheese. I ain't no whiz about it because I don't know about cheese. I, I'm a cheese lover. It was just cute to say cheese whiz because it's cheese. That's cheese whiz. As you all, I'm sure, already know the two people watching this my niece and nephew. <laughs> All right. Um, well, maybe my daddy, because he watched basketball wise. He better tune in. So, all I'm saying is, I don't remember. God, these drinks in my brain, I just lose memory. What's this goddamn garlic bread in there? What is going on? Ooh, that's hot. Um, I don't believe it, but I, 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 and again, great TV, Malaysia throwing that god dag on table, I wish more would have happened, that was some bull crap, they, they used that to really carry the season, and it really was just a hot second of that, and then nothing else occurred after that, like, ooh, God. 
Baby, nothing was more crazy than that goddamn on Tammy running after Duffy and Barcelona Spain. See, when you want to get locked up in another country, girl, but it made good TV. That was some good TV. But, I told y'all I go back and forth with for Tammy. I do, if I recall correctly, I was on Duffy's side. From what I recall, I think I was. And I ain't really like Duffy that season because Duffy had it against, I think she was against Angel, the dark skin one. I, I loved her. I wish she would have stayed. I don't know why she, maybe it was, hopefully it was her personal decision to leave and she didn't get fired because I liked her. But even if it was her own personal decision, I'm mad because Angel, that, no, Brinks. Brinks is like cutie too. But Angel Love, I think was her name. Maybe that queen right there. Chocolate queen. Pretty, oh, how that song go? Brown skin girl. Best thing in the world. I wouldn't trade you for anybody else. That god dang one. Well, best thing in the world. I wouldn't trade you for anybody else. That's how I feel about Malaysia. That's why I say I ain't really hating on Malaysia. I just felt a different type of way about her when it came to CC. Malaysia's a pretty brown skin girl, too. Although, color don't matter. Color don't matter. Color do not matter. But, just saying, that chocolate skin is delicious and delectable. And Luscious and exotic. Is it the kitchen or is it me? What's hot? What's going on? What's about you? Is that all? Mm. All right. Is this over an hour? Have I been cooking over an hour and talking to myself about a TV show? But if it, I got it better. If it's been over an hour, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. Um, how did I get to Duffy and all that? What was I talking about? Which girl was on? Oh, Jennifer and the throwing the table and stuff like that. That's what I, 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 I just, I feel like, and my heart breaks for Jennifer and losing her mother. I know it happened years ago, because I think it happened when she was on The Next 15, which I watched that with Claudia Jordan and all of them. And I liked it. It was all right. I can see why I didn't come back, but it could have, it... It, they did good enough where they could have got a second season. I think so. I mean, Tiffany New York Parlor was on it. Hello, I love New York. Come on, man. Uh, ooh, that garlic bread smells good. Um, and this stuff still ain't thickening up. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill my friend. She gave me the wrong recipe. Something ain't right. Let me put this top back on. What should I add? Let me add more cheese. Let me add more cheese because I did put the cheese in it. Only half. I only put half in first. So I learned and also, yeah, I'm t listen, I don't care. I'm touching this, not the food, so it don't matter. Um, learn somewhere, like when you're mixing stuff in, you never want to throw everything in at the same time. You want to do like half, because pretty much everything's going to land on the top. Then you mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Then you want to put some more. Mix it up, mix it up. Like, oh, yeah, I said mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Then put more. Then mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. So that's what I was doing with the cheese. And that's pretty much what I did when, when I was seasoning things as well. So we're going to put a little more. I still have some cheese in the bag. So I'm going to mix it up some more again. And then finish it off with the cheese. This thing on low. That garlic bread smells good, y'all. Ooh, uh-uh. Go back over there. So, something in my heart just says Jennifer ain't talk about that girl like that. And I just, remember earlier when I was saying I think there are people who talk but can't defend themselves. I think Jennifer is one of those people. And unfortunately, I feel like she just keeps doing it. She get, and as soon as she gets in good with Evelyn, she starts to do it. Because I feel like she did it again this season. Once she became good with, <gasps> oh, I got an apron on. <laughs> Thought that was my shirt. As soon as she got in with Evelyn again, she started going in on Tammy, which, and, and going to, I don't even want to repeat it, but I feel like it's part of my job as a fake little media person. She was talking about Tammy and the dress and the, the smell and the stains or whatnot. I don't, I don't believe it. The stains and stuff might be true just because people, when you're hot, we do smell. 
But then when she was like, she tried to return it or something like that, and then, or she tried to buy it and the credit card declined. Whether you want to give Tammy her credit or not, Tammy makes moves. It don't matter how many reality shows she's on. She's getting a check for each reality show. Tammy has money. It may not be Bill Gates' money or Mark Zuckerberg money or Tom from MySpace. Do he still got money? Like, is, is MySpace? Like, even though MySpace fell off, I feel like he probably still made enough money. Y'all let me know. Tammy has money. She can afford these dresses and stuff. Like, like we ain't gonna play her like that. Like, her credit card got declined. I don't believe that at all. But I feel like that's what Jennifer does when she gets in with Evelyn. And she, you know, and I just feel like she talks about people. But I don't think she, I think she will lawyer up. Which apparently that's what Evelyn has done lately. Which was a huge shocker and disappointment. Anywho, look, I think I didn't overcook these news because they look like they splitting in half. Something ain't right. Let me just let this stuff sit. I mean, we'll put the rest of the cheese on top. We'll put it in the refrigerator. We'll put the rest of the cheese on top. In the meantime, I'm hungry, so I'm about to eat these pieces. Oh, ooh, this and that alcohol ain't gonna go well together. I can make more out now that I've been drinking. Although I said I was gonna stay in all week because I'm broke. I don't even know. I don't even talk about that girl. And, okay, but that's not I moved past that. Um. Yeah, she got in. She starts talking about Weebo. I don't think she can back it up. And, um, but I love that she basically this season she's like I don't care no more like I'm not here to, I feel like she was making a clean slate with those girls they made a big you're reality stars but you're celebrities at the end of the day when all of y'all have events y'all have photographers you have paparazzi there you have people wanting to take a picture Y'all showing up to Jen's event, it was a big deal because the last time we left off, none of y'all got along. So, of course, they wanted to get a picture of all three of y'all together. But I don't think that was Jen's doing it like, oh, let me post this and put it out to the world that we're great best friends. Nobody thought that from that picture. But then y'all made it an even more bigger thing by cropping her out. Like, why would you... It's a cancer event. Y'all went there to support the cancer event. Cancer awareness event. I don't think nobody supports cancer. That was just so stupid to me. I feel like Evelyn wanted a reason about it. She probably got a bunch of flack from people saying, why would you hang out with her? You wanted a reason to not be friends with her. Well, if you just, because apparently I think she was saying, like her daughter was saying, well, why would you say, use that. Don't use the picture. Don't you just say, my daughter doesn't want me to be friends with you. Well, let me talk about her daughter, because if so, I apologize. I don't need it. I ain't talking about nobody's child. I ain't here to talk about the people that's individual. Get your child. Anyway, that was just so stupid. So I'm glad everyone was like, I don't care. I liked her friend Dominique. Dominique wasn't scared of Evelyn at that pool when the Anyway, I think the last, but not least, definitely not this. First of all, his effort. Like I said with Tammy, I go back and forth with Evelyn. And I think I finally got a place where I'm with Evelyn, but I'm going to still say she wrong. Like, well, even the people I'm with, I say she wrong. So, no, I still go back and forth with Evelyn, whether I like her or not. On the TV. On the TV. Okay, I see her, like, do interviews and stuff like that. And I, I, I say to myself, I think me and Evelyn would be real cool. Like, I think. There's a lot of celebrities I feel like that. Um, because like I said, I accept you for you. As long as you own up to who you are, I accept you as who you are. But I, I, I enjoy Evelyn. I think Evelyn brings laughs to the show. She definitely brings drama to the show. Um, my biggest one was Evelyn probably was that season she threw a wine bottle at that girl Kinga. Took it too far. That's that. 
That's why it goes too far now. Like, like I said, I like to see a little fight or something. Throwing a bunch. That girl could have really got injured if you would have connected with that bottle over her head. That's too far. Um, I do think, I think Evelyn and Tammy have both picked on people that they know they could be or outrank outside. Outsides. Um, but I don't know. Then, like her in the beginning, probably started liking Evelyn. <laughs> I don't know. I want to say it's when she came back. Unfortunately, it was a long time. So, I don't remember if I liked her before she left and then came back. But I know she made me mad when she came back. Because she was hating on Brandy. And I didn't understand why she was hating on Brandy. Um, and I'm sorry for all of those who just tuned in just to like see me cook and you don't watch basketball while I so care about it. Probably tuned out by now. I don't know who would stick around. But if you did, thank you. Thank you to those who enjoy basketball wives and came to see me cook and still sticking around. I know it's been a long time. Um, but anywho. I really say, oh, I like Evelyn. I like Evelyn. Because it was, I know there was a point in time. I was like, mm, I flux for Evelyn. I flux for Evelyn. I don't know. But anyhow, I feel like right, like I said it before, I was definitely on Evelyn's side versus the, her and the Tammy thing when it came to Chad Ultracinco. I was on Evelyn's side when it just came to Evelyn returning to the show. I feel like Tammy came to beat that happened years ago, and I don't understand that because the last time y'all left off basketball wives, y'all were cool. And I think Tammy did say Evelyn did an interview or something like that, but it's still a. But then even then, they came. They made up after that. So where another beef came from, I got lost in the sauce with that. I did. Uh, Evelyn, I give you props on the name Toji. I think that was so clever. I like OG. Again, I'll say that again. But Toji is funny. Like, it's funny. It's, it's witty and it's clever. It's clever. Um, Maybe I do agree with Toji. That, uh, I agree with OG that you might be looking a little too hard to... I don't think I have to look down and I'm just toe off. But I'm not a woman, so I don't look at that. Um, I think I think you're on the wrong side with choosing Kristen over CC, and I think you, you really were trying CC because you thought you could punk her. Uh, I think you should be aware of CC, but CC is doing that jujitsu or whatever that is. CC might actually be able to fluff you up. And then that whole scene of you running after them with a bamboo stick, but yet in your confessional, you were saying you weren't going to do anything to her. Why would you run? You could have walked fast, even briskly, expeditiously, as T.I. would say. You could have not had a bamboo stick in your hand. But in your other confessionals, you had already said, it's going to be a rumble in the jungle. I'm going to confront her when I see her. She's going to leave without my party gift. What else would your party gift be besides a... If you wanted to just talk to her, that's not a party gift. That's not a party gift. That's a conversation. That's a discussion. So your intentions to me were to try to put your hands on her and do something to her. And I'm glad OG was there to stop. Although I think Cece probably could have handled herself as well. Although I don't think she wants to because she actually has a job and businesses and things of that nature. Again, I don't think you got pumped by OG and was thrown into the bushes like how they tried to make it seem like. I do think you was pushed and then you tumbled into the bushes. Off of Evelyn, here's my problem with VH1 or whoever's editing and stuff. You showed the full push and the fall into the bushes when the season first started. And you're like, coming up this season on Basketball Wives. But yeah, when the actual episode airs, you like throw the camera to the side and then come back when she's been. You already shown what the flux is gonna happen to this girl. You act like somebody really went and punched her and had her bleeding and it would have been a lawsuit or something. What was the point of that? That was so stupid for the actual. If anything, it's for the up coming up next 
or coming up this season on Basketball Wives, you blank that out. So we like, ooh, what happened? And then you actually show it on the episode. Who did, Shani, did you do that? Did you do, Shari, did you have control over that? Because if so, I need to know why Mariah ain't got control over Married to Medicine. Because I need some people fired from that show. Getting hot, baby. Getting hot, baby. Thank you. Listen, I think I done wrote down every person. My promise. Oh, real quick. So I'm about to cut this off. And I'll come back when the food is ready. This reunion, bull crap. Bull crap. And I don't know. Yeah, I guess Tammy had a allergic reaction. That's what they say. Like how we somehow got this little episode coming up with Shawnee talking about colorism. Ooh. Mm. We could have had a video chat, sit down with Tammy when she finally was better and ask her some questions and talk about some things. You could have did that. Could have did that when she was wealthy and healthy. No. <laughs> wealthy and healthy. Well and healthy. Could have talked to her instead of this one on one we got to have with Shawnee. Second of all, why are we having a one-on-one -on -one with Shawnee about colorism? She wasn't the one with the complaint. She is light-skinned. She wouldn't understand what this brown-skinned girl is saying about colorism and how she feels. And why is it Shawnee discussing this issue? She wasn't the one who brought it up, and she does not feel it. She's a light-skinned woman. Not saying light-skinned women don't go through things, but it came from a brown-skinned woman bringing up colorism. The whole, I don't want to be on the stage with OG, she's dangerous, she's aggressive. I don't already talked about all these other people, but tell me to pop Malika, bullied Keisha, popped Evelyn, Evelyn had thrown a champagne bottle, Evelyn had jumped over tables, Evelyn has done so much. So many of them have done some bullcrap, violent things. Throwing drinks. Oh, she hasn't even done that much of throwing drink, And that is a woman's go-to, apparently, on reality TV. To throw a drink. Oh, she hasn't even done that. And y'all want to put her on a different stage than everybody else. First of all, Evelyn. Malaysia. Y'all so big and bad and ready to fight at any time. Why would you see her? I can see if Kristen asked for the complaint. Well, she probably backed it when she heard the other people saying it. I'm, I'm confused with the issues. Also, do they not have as many security guards as they do on the Love & Hip Hop reunions? Because they shut them fights down immediately. Immediately. That's over and done with. It ain't happening. So where's the fear? Where's, where, where, where are we scared at? Especially when we confront other people so big and bad, throwing tables, throwing drinks, throwing champagne bottles, fighting. Where we at with it? Where we at with it? And then it's like, Jennifer was such a villain last season because she didn't show up. She was a punk. She was blah, blah, blah. People show up. Y'all don't want them there on the stage. Huh? And they say what now? Now, regarding OG's colorism, I'm not a dark-skinned female. I'm not dark-skinned at all. I'm light-skinned boy. I can't say what she feels or what she does. My personal opinion is it's not uh, because she's dark that they're doing this. It's because she's a tough one and a real one. I think that's I don't think it has nothing to do with the color of skin. I think I think she was white and still was the way she was. I think they're afraid of her. And they need to be. Because stop running your mouth about somebody that you can't handle up with. Now, if that person was checking you and trying, I don't believe in just bowing out and be like, oh, no, I'm not going to talk about it. Like, if OG was getting in your face, about, but from what I've seen, it's not OG just stepping up to people's face. It's people talking about OG, saying slip stuff out their mouth, and then she confronts you about it. Don't talk about the girl if you're scared. Point by exclamation mark. Love a period. Point blank. Exclamation mark. I think I done burnt my garlic bread talking to y'all. I done forgot it was even in the content. It's burnt. It didn't burn. Then burnt.
burnt right through the goddamn thing. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. This one fell on the floor. Look how bad that is. Got it blocked up. Oh! Some butter. Ain't that what Big Mama put on her burn? Some butter. Ooh. The oven mitt that fell in the stove. The oven. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, So, yeah, that's what. Oh, that's probably going to be a blister. But that's what I think about them basketball girls. They done worked my nerve this season. But, good catch. It was all entertainment. I don't I don't want them to apologize for anything except for except for bringing Kristen back. But anyhow. And then I just feel like this whole reunion, Kristen gonna say stuff about CC and she ain't there to defend herself. And I uh, I didn't already seen a preview of her talking about CC says the N word, which in my heart I I just don't see CC saying the N word. I don't see that. Cause CC I get it why Evelyn says it, like where she grew up from, even though I don't agree. I'm with OG on it. I don't even like black people to say the N-word. I don't use it. But I can get why Evelyn uses it. There's a lot of Hispanic, Latinos, Puerto Ricans, they think they can say it. Cardi B says that. Um, I don't think Cece has ever grown up in that type of environment where she would feel it would be okay to say it. So, but again, I can only just go off what I see on TV. Maybe Chris is telling the truth. I don't know. But Cece wasn't there to defend herself. And again, I just don't see Cece saying that. So, this don't thicken up and thicken up fast. I'm going to be pissed. All right, y'all. So, let's take the thing off again. Do that. Okay. So, we got. Oh, one second. All right, you see the time? I don't even remember the time I started. There's our pasta. This is the first round of garlic bread. Is that I'm a? I, oh, oh, oh! It is the pasta, right? And so, yeah. So, um. You know, that's my thoughts. You know, put your thoughts down in the comments if you stayed and watched and listened. And, oh, God, here we go with the bull crap. You stayed and watched and listened, let me know. Let me know how this whole thing went. If you enjoyed me cooking and trying to give the directions as I did that. That garlic bread is some bull crap. I blame myself. So yeah, um, this is fun. This was a trial run. I haven't done, I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. Um, and so this will just be a trial run and hopefully it's a hit. And you know, we can keep doing this. Maybe I'll do it live and uh, uh, then I have to do it the other way so I can look at y'all comments and stuff because I can't see nothing this way. Or I can use my other phones and do it actually. So yeah. But anywho, um, hopefully, Hopefully this stuff thickens up. This is nine o'clock. I shouldn't be eating heavy pasta. Just look at that garlic bread. Dang it, Davo. I uh, appreciate you for tuning in and watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share. You know, let's make this a thing. As I was saying, maybe we can do this alive. 
and I can interact with you all. We can talk about other shows, other movies, things in pop culture, whatever. I know everything pop culture. Anything else about the I don't know nothing else about the world. I don't watch the news. I don't know my history. I know about drinking. We can talk about drinking as well. So, thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll probably come back or I'll edit it so that you guys can see the finished product if it ever got thick. Um, and get my reaction of how it tastes. All right, see ya. Peace. I just want to have a good time. So I'm going to be in the Ooh, to the left. Don't forget. Nerdy 30. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me at Davo the. Is it an underscore? I don't think so. I think it's just Davo Dilemmas. D A V O. And then Dilemmas. D I L E M M A S. And then if it's on Face, it might be underscore. I think it's Davo underscore Dilemmas. Because on Facebook, it's just Davo Dilemmas. And it's a page. So follow me, like me, share, comment, all of the good stuff. Comment only positive stuff. I ain't got time for the negative. See ya. Until I show you what the finished product is. Don't look at me. Don't judge me. Ain't no judgment. No, don't judge me. Mm -mm. Spend my hard earned money on this garlic thread, baby. Basketball wise, got all up in my feelings. I got by my food. Ooh, crap. All right, so I'm gonna make it do what it do, baby. Make it do what it do. To this here. I probably could have let it sit a little longer just to thicken up a little bit. It'll probably be more thick tomorrow once it sits in the refrigerator. And that's really when your seasoning sit in and really you know if your food is like uh, uh, uh. um <laughs> this was my one piece of garlic bread that I had this little miniature look this is like the ugly duckling that's what I had but I said you know what BG, you know, you burnt garlic bread, deal with what you did. So I took one of the ones that I've earned and I'm going to eat that one too. I did, you see, I scraped the stuff, but all right. Let's get into this. Let's see. I got daggone noodles. Look like they didn't cook so much. They can split up. But anywho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on there. Ooh, that was spicy. Mmm. 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 Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's delightful. So wish. So wish I had more of it. Well, I guess I do got more. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's good, but I'm probably going to use more chili powder and more fajita seasoning, especially when I added the milk and the chicken broth and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I might go back and add some more of that. Mm -hmm. That looks delightful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Chipotle napkin. If you ever want to sponsor me, Chipotle. I'm available. I eat at Chipotle all the time. I love you, Chipotle. All right. Hello. That is good, huh? Mm -hmm. Good. I feel like it's easy, you know, seasoning at how you want your seasoning. I took it easy by, I don't only season my meat before I even put it in the pan, but I didn't do that this time. I probably just season it up a little more or let it marinate. I should let it marinate. Mmm. Gotta be thinking thing. We might switch that thing up. That's good. That's cute. Whoever this little one pot chicken fajita pasta recipe came from that my friend sent to me on Facebook. I appreciate you, friend, and I appreciate whoever recipe you got this from, because this is this is mmm mmm, that looks spicy, that looks thick mmm mmm I can definitely see myself making this more often mmm, mmm there you go mmm, alright, well it's been fun, folks. Hope you enjoyed watching me for an hour and 30, 40 minutes. I was talking by myself. What a ridiculous joke that is. But, you know, stay tuned for the next edition with Davo. You never know what we're going to discuss and what we're going to get into. But, like I said, comment, like, share, subscribe. You know, let me know what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. I take constructive criticism. Don't come with just no criticism. All right? Uh, I'm going to enjoy my meal, and I might find something to do out in these L.A. streets. I might just stay in the house because I didn't have a drink of three. Two. I didn't drink a job. All right. Bye. This was presented to you by King Davo.